Leopold Seder Senghor International Airport French, Aéroport International Leopold Seder Senghor, IATA, DKR, ICAO, GOOY is an international airport serving Dakar, the capital of Senegal. The airport is situated near the town of Yaf, north of Dakar. It was known as Dakar Yaf International Airport French, Aéroport International de Dakar Yaf until 9 October 1996, when it was renamed in honor of Léopold Seder Senghor, the first president of Senegal. The airport can handle wide-body jets, including the Airbus A340-600 from South African Airways, and the Boeing 777-200 from Air France. In 2015, the airport served about 1,986,000 passengers. Construction of a replacement airport Blaise Diane International 45 km inland from Leopold Seder Senghor began in 2007. Saudi Bin Laden Group constructed the new airport, named after the first black African elected to France's parliament in 1914, Blaise Diane. It was initially expected to take 30 months to build and is designed for an initial capacity of 3 million passengers a year, almost double the 1.7 million annual traffic handled by the existing airport. Blaise Diane was delayed several times and opened on December 7, 2017. History During World War II, Dakar Airport was a key link in the United States Army Air Force's Air Transport Command Natal Dakar Air Route, which provided a transoceanic link between Brazil and French West Africa after 1942. Massive amounts of cargo were stored at Dakar, which were then transported along the North African Cairo Dakar Transport Route for cargo, transiting aircraft and personnel. From Dakar, flights were made to Dakla Airport, near Villa Cisneros in what was then Spanish Sahara, or to Ader Airport, depending on the load on the air route. In addition to being the western terminus of the North African route, Dakar was the northern terminus for the South African route, which transported personnel to Pretoria, South Africa, with numerous stopovers at Robertsfield now Roberts International Airport, Liberia, the Belgian Congo and northern Rhodesia. Before the introduction of long-range jets in the mid-1970s, it used to be an important stopover point for the routes between Europe and South America, along with the Canary Islands. The airport was a space shuttle landing site until 1987, when it was determined that a dip in the runway could damage the shuttle upon landing. It used to be one of the five main hubs of the now defunct multinational airline Air Afrique. The airport has often been used as a stopover on flights between North America and Southern Africa. Delta Airlines started service on 4 December 2006 between Atlanta and Johannesburg, with an intermediate stop in Dakar. This stopover has since been removed, with Dakar now served non-stop from New York JFK. South African Airways used Dakar as a stopover with both its flights from Johannesburg to Washington and New York. The stopover for the New York JFK flight has recently been removed, but the Johannesburg to Washington Dulles flight still stops in Dakar. This flight now operates via the new Blaise Diane International Airport. Senegal Airlines had a hub operation and their headquarters at the airport before the company's demise in April, 2016. Other facilities The head office of Agence Nationale de l'Aviation Civile du Senegal is also on the airport property. At one time, Air Senegal International had its head office on the grounds of the airport. The airport is also home to the French Air Force's Dakar Wacom Air Base, Base Aérienne Dakar Wacom, also known as Air Base 160, Base Aérienne 160 Dakar Wacom. The Dakar Wacom Air Base formed the military section of the airport. Airlines and destinations Cargo Statistics Incidents 
On 29 August 1960, Air France Flight 343 crashed while attempting to land at Dakar Yaf Airport during the precursor to what became Hurricane Donna. All 63 passengers and crew on board were killed. 